Shall we all stand together as the Bible is brought into the church? Service. 
Here is a great opportunity for you to get something for yourself, Happy Christmas me, or to buy something for a friend or a family member or for a child. We have a wonderful selection of books and different products next door. I just picked up a couple to show you. Um, here's one here, Corrie Ten Boom, Each New Day. A reflection, a biblical reflection for every day of the year. These by uh, the best-selling author and a uh, wonderfully inspiring Christian, Corrie Ten Boom. So that's there. Here's an interesting book by Steve Cotterell, Walking Backwards to Christmas. Now, does that kind of grab your attention, just the title, Walking Backwards to Christmas? And a couple for kids, Jesus Calling, 365 Devotions for Children, Jesus Calling. I like the sound of that. And then finally, this book, uh, The Christmas Stable, brilliant for tiny to toddlers. Uh, this book opens up, uh, you know, one of those wonderful books that tells a story pictorially. Have you got a wee one? Have you got a wee grandchild? Then that's for you. Please don't fight over it. Um, there's only one copy, I think, but we will order more. If there's a book on the, on the stall, you think, well, I'd love that, and it's gone. Order it, and we will get it for you. So there are loads of things there on the bookstall. Now, here's another thing. We did this two years ago, and we're doing it again this year. It worked so brilliantly two years ago. It's the Posada. This is a Mexican tradition. Uh, the Nativity uh, will journey around our parish. Now, here we have this box, and it's got all the figures of the Nativity contained in it. And here's how it works. You take it home with you. And this will start next Sunday, the first Sunday of Advent. And you will host the, the Holy Family in your house. And then the next night, you will take it to the next family on the list. And with a little prayer, you will pass it on to that family. And so it will go all the way around the congregation for 24 nights until it arrives back here on Christmas Eve itself. It's a beautiful tradition and it allows us to bring it home for our children and for all of us. You don't need to have children in the family to host the Posada. So here is the box with the Holy Family. And again, we say this, if you would like to host the Posada for one evening through Advent, you can sign up in the office right after service today. And when the family comes visiting, we will bring it to you. You can share with them a little cup of tea or a five-course meal or whatever <coughs> seems most suitable to you. So isn't it exciting that we've got these things happening in the lead up to Christmas this year? Other things on these pages, folks, you have noted for yourself, I'm sure. You'll take the bulletin home and read it at length. And then on pages six and seven, you'll see our usual things. The Guild, tomorrow night, an excellent evening store out of Africa into Malta. It's to do with refugees and asylum seekers. Next Sunday, all age communion for the first Sunday of Advent. That's next Sunday. Tear Fun Christmas Tour, I'm going to say more about it in the coming weeks. But it should be in your diary, Thursday the 18th of December. Uh, what else on the other page? Men's group, have a last suit routines. Toddlers group here at St Andrews on our Thursday is going strong. Read please and take note. And finally, Lynn's going to come forward and say a word about the Women's Fellowship evening coming up. Come on up, Lynn. Morning. Um, I was just to say the, craft, the, craft, the games night on Friday, um, if you bring your favourite board game, um, and then you can share that the fun that you have with it with other people. Uh, there'll be tea, coffee, and juice, and things like that there. It's from uh, 7.30, and it will be through in the hall. Also, um, we're having a pudding and praise night on the 16th of January, and if you are a good baker, or do a good pud, uh, and you're willing to um, donate a pudding to that event that would be great if you could speak to me after and that men you could also bake for us lovely ladies you know if you feel up to it um, but if you're willing to bake or uh, make a pudding for that night uh, can you speak to me after thank you well thank you Lynn 
Now just finally, before I hand over to Stuart and our guild members who will lead worship today, a whole number of you have been asking any update on Beatrice. If you hadn't heard, uh, Beatrice had a fall and an accident in the hall yesterday afternoon. Uh, she's broken her hip, she's in nine wells, and we anticipate that she will have surgery today to put that right. I'm going to visit her this afternoon and I'll take with me the best wishes of the congregation and we'll be able to update you thereafter. So that's Beatrice. Keep her in your prayers, please, in the coming days. Well, as you'll have seen from the front of your order of service, and also as Martin just mentioned there, we're giving special recognition to the work of the Guild. This week has been Guild Week, and here this morning uh, we share in welcoming the Guild uh, and having them participate in our worship this morning. But of course in that we remind ourselves of what goes on, uh, the valuable part that they play uh, here locally, but also nationally, and the wonderful work that the Guild does. So to that end, as we share in worship, we'll be reflecting on the, the work that the Guild does. But they're going to be helping us and leading in different elements of the service today. And I, for one, as we've been getting ready for Sunday today and getting ready for the different parts of the service, I, for one, have been really looking forward to this Sunday uh, and having the Guild involved with us this week. But we're going to worship God together, and the Guild are actually going to help us uh, to lead into that. We're going to sing the, the traditional uh, the traditional hymn, All People That On Earth Do Dwell, which is the, the hundredth psalm. Uh, the, the guild ladies are going to lead us in the first verse of that, uh, and then at the end of the first verse, I would invite you all to stand if you're able and join in. just coming up and we carry on in our worship. We continue uh, with something more modern, but of course, considering the season that is almost upon us, when we recall that Christ came and made his dwelling amongst us. From heaven you came, helpless babe. Again, as the band lead us, the guild ladies will lead us in the first verse of this uh, item of praise, and then I invite you to join in in the second verse. Please remain seated to start with and then stand if you're able as we join together. <laughs> 